Good morning. It's Tuesday, the second day of my trying to live by the food stamp diet. My name is Father John Ensler. I am from Catholic Church in Washington, D.C. and the five surrounding Maryland counties. That'd be Montgomery, Prince George's, Calvary, Charles, St. Mary's. To learn more about Catholic Church, go to our website, which is catholicchurchdc.org. Love to hear more about us. Go to the website and hear what we're doing for the poor in this area. In this city, every day, there are 12,000 homeless people. 12,000. Think about that. These are people who don't have a place to live. They live in shelters, they live in their cars, they live in metro stops. They might have food stamps, yes. But the reality is, is how are they going to live on $30 a day or $30 a week? I tried it yesterday. And frankly, I failed yesterday. Yesterday, I came home, I forgot. And so I opened the refrigerator up and I had what I'd like to have. I had a piece of salmon, okay? That was $3, $3. I'd like to have, basically if I can, some, some bottled water, basically. Couldn't have that yesterday because there's no way to have this that cost at least a dollar a day. I also had yesterday a couple of apples, basically, and had some chicken salad. That's what I had to eat yesterday. The reality is probably I can't do that the rest of the week because I ate probably six dollars of the food on one day. So let's say you're poor. First of all, this salmon here, which I'll have for dinner tonight, I need a microwave over here. Without a microwave, how do you cook it? I've got a microwave. Poor person on the street doesn't have that. They're trying to live without the very basic survive. Now, today, I'm going to have that salmon. I'm going to have some fruit, basically. We got from the store. So this is only a dollar for this fruit for today. And for lunch, a couple of apples. Okay? That's my meal for the day. Fruit in the breakfast, a couple of apples for lunch, salmon for dinner. That's it. It's not a lot, but it's about $5 for food for the day. Now, what if I wanted to eat not so healthy? Okay, let's say, I'll tell you what, I think I'm going to go to McDonald's today and get the dollar menu. That sounds great. I'll do that. The reality is, though, go to McDonald's, I don't think you can use food stamps at McDonald's. Can you get the dollar menu to use food stamps, sir? I don't think you can. Maybe the morning you go someplace and get a croissant. The point is you probably could do it if you had $30, but you couldn't do it with food stamps. I'm not sure it's allowed. You've got to go to a special place to get your food stamps. Now, what if basically I decide, no, no, I'm not going to eat so healthy, so I'll eat this week, I'll eat some cereal. It's just like $8 a box. That's a dollar for breakfast in the morning. Or I want to have some eggs and some toast. That's probably at least a dollar, a dollar and a quarter for breakfast for some eggs and some toast in the morning. Or what, uh, take a snack at night, they will have some chocolate chip cookies. Ah, can't do it. Not allowed. Oh, I love mixed nuts. Have some mixed nuts. I may have a drink. Huh, mixed nuts. Definitely off the list. And by the way, something to drink. If you're on this diet, forget it. Beer, wine, not possible. So the reality is, is that if you live on food stamps, your diet is going to be far different, far different than, than what most people have all throughout the year. So $30 a week, can you do it? I'm trying it this week and probably I'll make it. But here's the reality. It is for one week. No one's saying for one week. What if that was your menu for the year? Peanut butter and jelly all year long. Maybe beans for dinner all year long. Maybe a little breakfast, which might be, maybe would be a fast food sandwich, or maybe it would be, maybe it's just some toast. That's it for $30 a week. That's all we can do. We're trying at Catholic Cherries, myself and others, to try this food stamp diet for this week to get an idea of what it's like to be poor. You know, here I am, my beautiful rectory. I got my microwave. I've got my refrigerator. Poor people don't have those things. I've got a wonderful bed to sleep in. What if a warm house to be in as it gets a little colder? They don't have those things. So the reality is, is I want you to think about doing this yourself. Try the food stamp diet. Simple as this, $30 a week. If you do, I suggest you cannot eat healthy. Vegetables, fruit, salad, lean meat. Can't do it for a week. A couple of days, sure, for a week, can't do it. And the reality is, is this will remind all of us how blessed we are. So God's given me many blessings, given you many blessings. Wouldn't it be great wouldn't it be great if you could get a sense this week what we like to live like the poor? Not to go on the street to live there, that's bad enough, but just to eat what they eat and get a sense what it's like not to have the sustenance and nutrition that we have. For that poor people, filling their bellies is important. Delicious, tasty, not that important. My belly is full. Would that be good enough for us? This week, I'm reminded, preparing for the holiday season, how blessed I am how blessed all of us are to think about what we could do if we just took this diet and said, God, you bless me. How lucky I am. What can I do to share and be in some solidarity with those as fortunate myself? 
to more about, for more about what we do for the poor, for the homeless, for the shelters throughout the area, go to CatholicCharityDC.org. Hear about us and learn what we're trying to accomplish. This is my chance to be in solidarity with the poor. Why don't you try it yourself? God bless you. Have a great day. Again, for information, CatholicCharityDC.org. Thank you.